Hi, today a uh, video about my latest uh, flea market and eBay finds just to show you what I found. We will start with a real good bargain on uh, my new keyboard for my computer, Logitech uh, wireless keyboard. It was one euro because it is missing the uh, receiver, but actually I had receivers in stock and I had already one on my PC. So it is replacing my previous keyboard of the same kind but with missing keys. This one does not have backlight but it has a media control so it is nice also. And for one euro it was new, completely new in the box. So I could not complain and quite a good bargain. Even the previous one came from the flea market at the same place actually, two or three years before. But I did pay 15 euros for the previous one. So this is a good deal. Again, one euro bargain. Well, I did expect it to be a bargain, but not so much. Nikon Laser 500 a laser telemeter. So apparently, it is a laser telemeter used mainly for golfing. It is working, but not too well. In fact, it almost never uh, is able to do the misio because there is too many light or uh, the target surface is not uh, convenient or things like so. So it is working when it, wa when it wants. It is worth normally around uh, 200 euros, but as I am not sure it is in 100% uh, working condition. Uh, we are not sure if I will sell it on eBay or not, or if it will end in a, it will end in a tear down. Uh, when it works, it works. It does a good mesure, but uh, once in a while, so not uh, super convenient. In fact, it gives you the measures the measure on the LCD in the eyepiece here. Uh, will it? Uh, uh, well, I will not trigger it because it may damage my camera. I do not want this. So, I'm uh, not sure what I will do with this thing. Worst case scenario, it will be a tear down. Uh, then, for uh, 8 euros still at the flea market, uh, Sony Video Walkman. Sadly, it is uh, completely dead. I did already check all the internal fuse and uh, they are good, but it is not powering at all. Not too bad uh, cosmetic condition. It was missing screws when I got it. So someone was in here before. Uh, some scratch on the glass here. Uh, tape desk completely not tested. And uh, well, completely dead, but it is a quite a rare device, in fact, so uh, I might keep it for collection, anyways. Okay, we continue with another item. So, for 5 euros in the original box, Bang and Olofsen uh, BO Cord 1900 tape player in a super nice condition with original box it is almost working but in fact i do not have any uh, pre-recorded tape left so i had to record the tape myself but it does not allow me to check if the speed is correct or not apart from this the viewmeters light are good and it is working uh, it is worth anywhere between one and one hundred euros on ebay very random price so i am not sure yet i will probably sell it but as it is easy to open i will do a video with uh, contents to show you how it is made inside and what it is all about uh, super nice construction as you can guess except for the stupid din plug and some really bad quality capacitors inside but apart from this uh, The quality you could expect from a bank on the Lucene, but at 5 euros I could not let it pass anyways. So uh, it is why I did pick it up. 
it is uh, the third time I find a uh, 5 euro bank of the Lufsen piece in flea market. Okay, now we continue with the uh, latest eBay finds, not the ones from the Oldster uh, video, but new ones, so it is even more wording. So, again, for 1 euro plus 30 euros of shipping, olive green stuff, it is apparently the vehicular base hosting station for a military radio, German military radio. It is made from the, by the cell company, Standard Electric Lorenz. In uh, 1984, uh, this date here is not uh, the manufacturing date. So I did already see it for sale on uh, German eBay for uh, 80 or 90 euros. I was always curious about this thing, but it was uh, way too expensive. But at one euro, again, I could not let it pass. Uh, very super serious construction as you can guess and it will be an interesting uh, tear down look at this this is serious stuff guys quite insane uh, and super easy as you can guess ok next item so, if you have seen uh, my video about the battle tank thermal camera thing, a link uh, up here, you remember it was a uh, super nice quality. So, after a thermal camera thing, and given I already found a laser thing in the flea market, I had to get a laser battle tank thing. It was 60 euros, but totally worth it. This laser elbow, some kind of a target range finder, I believe, for a battle tank. Super heavy and super serious construction, as you can see, with all the screws here. So it will be an awesome teardown. Look at this, it is so beautiful, this thing. Quite insane construction. And really, I am waiting for this teardown to happen because it will be quite uh, nice, I believe. And we will end with uh, this video with a little mystery for you. I purchased on eBay a whole bunch of little wooden blocks. They came all the way from uh, Bielorussia, I believe. Why did I purchase wooden blocks? It is not uh, normally what I purchase. I am not a wooden block collector. So make your guess of what it could be. I have to order uh, or purchase something else in order to be able to show you them. But it is something I did want for a very long time actually. And I am quite happy with, to have uh, some of them now. Make your guess of what it could be. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.